Hey look, we're back. And where we last left off, we stopped right before Erica. So we're gonna go stomp her really fast, I think, anyway. Either way. So before I continue, I want to talk about what's happening in the video game industry first. Because there's a few things that have been happening that I want to talk about. First off, Destiny 2 has decided to put in a terrible transmog system that's pissing off its fans for no good reason. Where you have to do, where you can only do a certain amount of transmog for a certain amount of time per season, and then you have to pay wall, and then they're paid walled if you want to do more transmog, even though this feature is just standard in, uh, in just about every single other MMO ever, so I'm not sure what they're going for there. People thought when Bungie broke away from Activision, they'd be less greedy, and it's kind of sad to see they're, they're not. So that's one thing. Soulja Boy, or Draco, whatever he wants to call himself now, is over here whining about people who are critiquing his game console, yeah, his new game console, because it's like, oh man, people just don't want to see a black man can, uh, succeed. No, motherfucker. It's because you're a thief, a criminal, and a dumbass. Again, all he is doing is taking some, like, third-party video game console and just putting it under his own name again. And just like this time, he's likely going to get sued again for breaking the law. Because you are not allowed to do that. You are not allowed to take other people's products and sell them under your own flag. No one's trying to not see a black man succeed. No one's being racist. No one's a race traitor. You're just an idiot, a moron, and a fucking thief. Go fuck yourself and stop playing the race card. Oh, and the last thing is there are there have been leaks that Konami is planning something big with Metal Gear Solid. And if we we're lucky with the leaks that we got before about how they're willing to pan out their games to other companies, we might get a good Metal Gear Solid game again. Let's forget that Survive even was a thing. Now then, let's get into it. All right, Erica, what you got? What you got? Kema, you are going to be my MVP for this fight, effectively. Look at that stamina. Um, what's your people? Okay, you're good. All right, Kema. Let's do this. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I'm the leader of the Cellar Dungeon. Oh, you're from Johto, you say? Oh, nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize you wished to challenge me. I know. I have been training myself on not only flower arrangement, but also Pokemon battle. I shall not lose. Alright. Ooh, nice music, Erica. Jump off. Yo, you about to catch this poison, though. Shoot the J. Shoot the J, Kemma. Ah, I knew you'd be sunny faster than me. What are you using sunny day? Oh, okay, so you're just like a chlor. All your Pokemon have chlor or are able to use the sun effectively. Got it. So sunny day says, yeah, your Pokemon who have chloroform and abilities in the in that weather get buffs from it. But you also have the downside of now fire attacks do more damage to your grass types. You're just like I don't have any grass fire attacks. Victory bell. Shoot the J. I really need a, I need a special attacker on this team. I don't have one. Uh. Yeah, my team's really not spec to fight a grass gym, other than Keba. Oh, I can eat that. I think. Yeah, my special defense is high enough. Ah, that still does a decent chunk. But now you lower your special defense, or special attack, so good job. God, I need to, I need to get you a physical poison attack, because your special is just lacking, friend. One more time. Actually, let me minimize here. Since you can't really do damage to me anymore because you lowered your special attack, I might as well just abuse the fact that I can just make myself evasive as shit. I might not have the best ability to fight you, but I can certainly cheese. God, imagine if you were low in luck, you'd be so good. Every single Pokemon on her team probably has Sunny Day to make sure it's always up. That's fine, just more turns to keep buffing my evasion. Oh, that's gonna do nothing. I just recently, oh, right today, today I watched the Mortal Kombat movie. Um, 
it's it's a C plus. It's not it's not the worst thing ever. It's not the greatest. It has the problem of we're I keep talking about this. Directors, do not be afraid to go full stupid. Stop being afraid. Stop holding yourselves back and thinking you have to like ground yourself in some kind of for some reason when it comes to making these uh, movies. No, go full stupid. Ignore logic. Go full monkey. <laughs> like I think go, uh, Godzilla vs King Kong did it so well. You, you. Uh, there became a point. Wow, I'm surprised I hit. There was a point where it's like this doesn't make any sense. The physics of this clearly don't hold up. But you don't care. You wanna know why you don't care? Because you got to see a giant monkey fight a giant lizard who can shoot lasers out of its mouth. You don't care that it's like when you actually sit down to think about all the things going on that none of it makes sense because you're having fun watching it. And there were some cool fights in the movie, like no lie. But overall, it felt like it was trying to take itself way too seriously and trying to keep itself way too grounded. It, it couldn't decide if it wanted to be comedic, if it wanted to be serious. The the new main character guy, Cole, is kind of a self-insert character. According to, like, um, a wiki I was reading, it's like, oh, yeah, I kind of incorporated some of myself into Cole, and it's like, but why, though? So, yeah, it's just a... It's... It has better flow and movement of this... of the... of what's going on than the original Mortal Kombat movie, but the original Mortal Kombat movie is better because it was willing to not take itself seriously and just have fun with the concept. But it, some of the visual effects and the, some of the fights are really cool, and some of the fatality well not fatality, they don't call fatalities, but there's enough like there that people who like Mortal Kombat and like the over-the-top stupidness of it can go like, oh, I remember that thing. Hey, that thing was pretty cool. So yeah, it's just to see. It's kind of a, one of those movies. Hey, look, Blossom. Oh, it's level 56. That shouldn't be a threat because you're pure grass type. And I'm also, yeah. It's kind of one of those movies that you get more out of just watching all the cool fights and clips on YouTube than you would watching a movie. Like, it's one of those, I've watched it once and then I'm done. Oh, oh, that was a crit. Oh. <laughs> Good thing I minimized. Yeah, it's one of those things where you just kind of watch the cool clips on YouTube rather than, like, sit down and really divulge into it. Bring out. What does that do? Ow. Your special defense is shit, and you're also the pre evolved form, so I should be able to two-shot you, if not one-shot. Hey, there we go. I told you Kemo would be the MVP here. Level 54, nice. Hey, gunk shot! Yo, from Gen 6 onward, this move has the best animation. So, gunk shot. The user f shoots filthy garbage to the foe, and it may poison the attack. In Gen 6, in Gen 6 onwards, it is literally just you summon a trash can and you fucking chuck it at the enemy. So literally, what I'm doing is I'm shooting a J of a trash can with Kemma. Yo, let's fucking go. I'm so hyped. Hey, look, jump up. Don't go easy on me. Give me everything you got. All right, eat some trash. Bitch, you ain't going nowhere. Yo, eat this trash though. Oh, the Gen 6 animation is so much better. Where you literally just hit hit your opponent with a trash can. Hey, good job, Kemma. Thanks for the carry. Looks like I underestimated you. I mean, you didn't really have a chance. I had a poison type. You're grass. You're done. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you the rainbow badge. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I want you to have this TM19. Giga Drain. That would have been great on Izzy. It's a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. It is indeed a horrifying move. Erica, are you are you high right now? Losing leaves a bitter aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. I think Erica's high right now. I'm gonna go. Maybe get off the grass, girl. Good job, Kemma. You were a marvelous addition to the team. I still need an actual special attacker, though. K 
god, getting through this place is actually really annoying. Oh, here we go. I think I can just run out here. Oh, here we go. Almost out, almost out. Here. Almost out. There we go. Oh, mom, what do you want? Hello? I still you guys? Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, I guess I can go now that I've done everything I needed to here. Where should I head to next? I'm gonna head to lab I'm gonna head back to Lavender Tower. Since I should be able to get something there now. Now that I turned back on the power I never yeah, I never visited Lavender Town's tower, but now that I turned back the turned everything back on, I should get something there, I believe. I never talked to this guy. I caught Kema, but I never talked to this guy across the water. Eh. Grammar started to appear recently. You can see the problem in front of the house. It was it has grammar too. I wonder where they came from. Sigh. Pollution. This is implying that your water's being polluted, fam. God, I wish you were. I, I like muck, but a low in muck is just it takes everything good about muck and just dials it to ten. Literally same stat line, but all you had, all they did was gave it dark typing, which removed, which utterly removed all of its weaknesses, gave it better abilities. It honestly made it just a very scary Pokemon to fight against uh, if you're a special special attacker. Since there's, there's not a lot of special attack ground attacks, are there? I think there's only Earth Power. Hmm. Yeah, I believe there's only Earth Power. Interesting. Saffron. I guess I can also do Cerulean, but I don't have a grass type. God, the t I need to, I need to re probably replace one of my water Pokemon. I probably need to replace Ball with something. What would I replace Ball with, though? I don't care about that Apricorn. Is there anything I'd replace Ball with? What are my options right now that I can actually replace Ball with? I probably do need to replace Ball with something. Uh, no, not Ho. Oh. I don't want an Electrode, even though it probably would be good. Don't wait. Is that that nature's really good for right? Oh no, it's really bad. Haha, <laughs> Never mind. I feel I feel totally okay with not wanting to use you. I mean, Slowbro could be a special attacker. Oh, he has a lagging tail. Wait, isn't Quiet, like, raises special defense, or is that, uh, defense? I can't remember. Special attack and lowers literally perfect nature. You would be a better fit on the team. I do need a special attacker. And you do have a really good move pool. Hmm. And we'll explore a little bit more. Maybe we'll find something else to get instead. Let's head to the radio tower now that we turn the electricity back on, though. Oh, there's the creepy music. Many people are hard at work here at the radio tower. They must be doing their best to put on good shows. Welcome. Feel free to look around anywhere on this floor. Ah, so you're the Ice Video Games who solved the power plant problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. I'll tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Take this as my thanks. Hey, loaded the EXPN card onto the Poke Gear. Thanks, man. With that thing, you can tune into even more radio programs here in Kanto. <laughs> hey there, I'm the super music director. I'm responsible for the gorgeous melodies that go over the air. Don't be square, grab your music off the air. Sorry, but you can only uh, tour the, grant, the lower floor. Ever since the Johto's radio tower was taken over by a criminal gang, we had a step up our security. That's understandable. So, what kind of new songs have I gotten on here? Oh, 
there it is. Which means I can go interact with that uh, Snorlax now. All right, Snorlax, where you at? Oh, Route 12. New area, new Pokemon to catch. What can I catch here, anyway? Let me read the sign. Fishing spot. It's called the Silent Bridge because everyone walks on tiptoe to avoid scaring water-type Pokemon. I don't need more water-type Pokemon, please. Uh, Let's move you to the front. I badly need... God, if I still had Donald, he'd be great. I'm going to see what I can catch here first. Never mind. No, I'm not. Do you remember? Remember what? Level 39 Golding. Uh, it's shit. Let's do a power. I'm checking really fast if I can catch anything new here. Or potentially catch anything new. I could catch one of my literal favorite Pokemon of all time, but I really shouldn't use it because it's just another water type. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. <sighs> no! Uh, you are water poison. I have literally nothing to hit you with, so I'm going to use waterfall. I hope my flat damage is enough to kill you. Oh, uh, the only new things I can catch here, I probably shouldn't be catching. Oh, God damn it! Revenge. Ow. Anyway, die. So, no, I can't get anything new here. That'd be really helpful for the team. Ah. Oh, well. God, my favorite Pokemon. One of my favorite Pokemon's here. But it's another water type. I don't need more water. Oh, you have another Pokemon? Another Goldeen? I probably should be able to kill you with a superpower, even with my uh, drops. So, superpower. Bang. Thought so. You do remember. What do I remember? What am I supposed to remember here, man? So I don't forget just how great it is the battle with you. How about we exchange phone numbers? Sure. Hopefully you'll have better team by the next time I see you. Shots. Forget about you now. Uh, okay. That was odd. Anyway. I need to go to the, um, to that Snorlax. I can't catch a Snorlax. Wait, can I catch a Snorlax? I don't think I can technically catch that Snorlax. Oh, the wind has changed direction. Right? Bird Keeper Justin. Oh, I can punch birds. Have you ever punched a bird? You're faster than me? I mean, it's not like balls really fast or Azumarill's really fast, but still, I think I'd be faster than Zatu. I mean, you're dead now, but still surprising. Goodbye. And a knockdown. Normal flying type. I think design wise, not not viability wise, but I think design wise, Noctowl is the coolest of the normal flying bird Pokemon that you get at the start of each game. Let's think about owls, just really, really cool. High tier bird. High tier bird. Pew. Yeah, you didn't really stand a chance, man. No, nothing personal. So if the winds has changed, I'll lay low. I'll fight. Yeah, I'll fight you now. Patience is the key to both fishing and Pokemon. I thought the key to Pokemon was beating your opponent. Remoraid. And Waterfall. Even though you resist this, I don't think you have the stats to stay alive. I have 17 levels on you and you aren't really known for being tanky. Nice. 
No. 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 You don't get to. No. Uh uh. Octillery. Fun fact I actually used an Octillery unironically back in the day because of its ability. Um. Uh, I think it's like not sticky holes. It had an it has an ability that says it can't be phased out by attacks. So I would use a baton pass team, and I just buff up all my other Pokemon, and then a baton pass Octillery. It was a really good. It has a really good open move pool. Like it, it's a water type that can learn flamethrower, and that would be my pivot to like one shot the opponent team. We had like flamethrower. Uh, I think it has some electric attack, a water attack, and I just kind of sweat for, with an Octillery, just because it couldn't be phased out. And then I got Smurgle, who could learn ingrain, so yeah. I'm too impatient for fishing. Don't be a fisherman then. Alright, I'll be able to show off for Tara. Or Tara. I love to look at my boyfriend's face in the profile when he's paddling. I'm happy for you two, but can I go? No, no? okay. Vic and Tara. Sunflora and Magmar. Yo, Sun fucking Flora. Uh, let's one-shot the Magmar, and we're going to safeguard the team. Uh-oh. That... No, no! That Sunflora is going to be super fast now. I think Sunflora has chlorophyll. What's Sunflora's ability? I honestly cannot remember what Sunflora's ability is. Is it an ability that gets, like, more power in the sun? Ah, here you are, Sunflora. Oh, it has either Chlorophyll, where it's faster, or Meg, or Solar Power, where its special attack rate is by 1.5. That could be dangerous, actually, then. Stop. Okay. Oh, wow, you're just still slower than me. Holy shit, you are so fucking slow. Oh, you have Solar Power. Die. Uh, I don't know. Mirror code, I guess. That ice punch should kill you. There is nothing good about Sunflora. It's a very, very bad Pokemon. I have no idea what they were thinking when they made this thing so shit. Its best stat is 105 special attack, but its base speed is 30. So even if you give it chlorophyll, oh my god. There'll be times where it'll be double speed and still be slower than Pokemon, than average Pokemon. And it's like, holy shit. Like, yeah, you don't expect a plant to be fast, but goddamn. Even though my boyfriend lost, he's still wonderful. Tara already seen me humiliated. Ah, she loves you, man. It's fine. Alright. Route 11. Oh, I can catch a Pokemon here. I didn't catch anything here. Uh, what can I catch here? Can I catch something that actually I want, please? Please? Not really. If I still had Headbutt, I could have gotten a really good... <gasps> wait! Wait! Oh, wait, no, I, I don't want to use a Snorlax. I've already had a Snorlax in 1 LP. That really did carry me. So, let me not use a Snorlax here. Just kind of inch. Damn it. Oh, can't even catch that. I guess one of the Pokemon I can catch here would be kind of useful for the team, almost. Well, no, not really, I, since I have a special defense Pokemon. It's kind of bad, honestly. Whatever. Can't catch this anyway. Man, I'm running out of Pokemon that I actually want to use. Like, I understand the, the point of Nuzlocke is, like, not getting the best of best option, but still. Also, what we're going to do here is move Kema to the front. There's a reason for this. Trust me. Wake up, fat ass. The Snorlax opened its eyes wide. Yeah, technically I can catch this. Actually, technically I should catch this, shouldn't I? Thief. Yeah, I shouldn't waste a Pokemon. 
Hey, that's what I wanted. Ow. That might hurt. Okay, I'm out. That's what I have been craving for a while now. Um... I think Lilith's probably the best bet for this. And even though I don't plan to use Snorlax because I've already had a Snorlax in one of my LPs, I will just catch it because I shouldn't waste Pokemon. On the off chance anything goes horribly wrong, you know? Uh, Earthquake. This shouldn't kill a Snorlax. Oh, Snorlax. Of all the Pokemon that have fallen from grace, I don't think anyone's fallen harder than you, buddy. That's worrying. That's actually kind of worrying. Hmm. The damage isn't too bad yet. Oh, I have a heavy ball. Let's try this. Bob. For the people who get the reference, good on you. But yeah. What sounds like it's cry may actually be the snores or the rumbling of its hungry belly. Bob. Welcome to the box, Bob. Alright, that's another one down. So where can I head at this point? I can head to Bridian, I can head down to... Actually, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's go head down to, um... I think I should head to Fuchsia. Let's head to Fuchsia City. I'm gonna head to Fuchsia City on the cycling road. Do, 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 do. I wish when a Pokemon could learn fly. Do, do. Let me check out your nature and shit. Ooh, wow, you had Giga Impact. That could have been really bad. Red Pokemon from getting poisoned. You have Block, Rollout, Crunch, and Giga Impact. Ugh. That could have been bad. All right, now I have two Pokemon that can be like, could effectively restart this LP if anything goes really wrong. I know I'm skipping around a lot. It's just kind of trying to figure out how I want to do this map. And effectively, I just want to get Pokemon that are cool. I keep getting Pokemon that are like, eh, I'm not really feeling this one, or I'm not really feeling this one. I just want Pokemon that are that are. I want a Pokemon that'll fit on the team, but also make the team better, as opposed to just kind of, eh. I want to put, it is getting harder and harder, because I'm also trying to avoid Pokemon that I've used once before, you know? Alright. Like, right now, every single Pokemon on my team is Pokemon I haven't used before in an LP. For fuck's sake, I have a Wobbuffet. I have a Wobbuffet and a Nuzlocke. Like, who does that? Hmm. Onward. <laughs> Probably should have visited the department store. Route 16. You should be able to get fly here. What can I get on Route 16? Route 16, I can get... I could get a Fire Pokemon here, actually. It's not the best Fire Pokemon. It's honestly a pretty shit Fire Pokemon, but I could get a Fire Pokemon here. So, you still have Fly. What do you have now that your house is just kind of hidden away? If you cruise down the cycling rail, you'll end up in Fuchsia City. 
Hello, hello, would you like to hear a trendy saying? Yes. Very well. The trendy thing for you to say would be irritable? That's a trendy sort of thing to say. Okay. Can't catch you. I'm not gonna go out of my way to try to catch the Pokemon here. We're out. So this is only a 5% chance of catching. Item take. Because I do want new encounters. I just realized that with the next gym in... Wait, is the next gym what I think it is? I think it's what I think it is. Fuchsia is poison, right? Second row starts here. It's all down here, so it's totally exhilarating. Some people prefer convenient and cool transportation, such as the fast ship and the magnet train. You prefer the bicycle, don't you? Sure. I'm also just doing it because it's, you know, convenient. Route 17, I can get a Pokemon here as well. Can't catch that. What kind of Pokemon could I get here now that I think about it? Same thing as the other place. And run. Actually, you know what? I have an idea. This is DJ Ben bringing you Pokemon Music Channel. Today's Friday, you know what that means. It means it's time to wake your Pokemon up with a march. Today's Friday, you know what that means, right? It's time to wake your Pokemon up with a march. Oh, okay. Strange. Anyway. You're gonna lose, I got a hunch. Y you can believe that. You're wrong, but you're entitled to your wrong opinion. I won't stop you from having it. What you got? What's your single Pokemon? A Gulpin? Fudge. I just remembered something really important. Damn it! Oh, I'm very upset at myself. Ah! Uh, <laughs> I just remembered this guy. This guy right here has the poison equivalent of leftovers that I could have gotten if I wasn't dumb. I utterly forgot. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that. I wanted that. Damn it. And here's the problem. Because he's still holding leftovers, he can't steal it. No! I, darn it! Oh my god. Oh, whatever. It's fine. I can get one later. I mean, it's just a minor amount of healing, but it's still free healing at the end of the day. Gosh. 
Maybe my hunch was a little off. Uh, can I battle you again, maybe? Can, can you... No, no, god damn it. You're so cool, you didn't do anything halfway. God damn it. <sighs> Whatever. It's fine, it's fine. I totally didn't want that item. Clearly not. No, I didn't mean to give you a full restore. Oh, I'm so tilted. I'm so tilted. Not catching any Pokemon I want to use. Not getting items I wanted to get because I'm an idiot. Ugh. Let me heal your poison just so I don't have to go all the way back to the Pokemon Center again. I'm just going to use an antidote. I think you'll be fine not getting a floor store. Oh, well. C'est la vie. Hey, you. You're from Johto, huh? Yep. Pleasing. Safeguard. I'm a little bit worried over an explosion, if I'm being honest. I'm switching here. To switching to what, though? I guess I'll switch to Lilith? I need to replace Ball with something. I mean, Ball's done work for the team, but I, I can't. I need something to... I need a special attacker of some kind. My lack of special attacker is going to kill me later on. I really should be... I could, again, just bite that bullet and just use Ho-Oh and just get over it. But I just don't want to use Ho-Oh. I just do not want to use an instant I win button, you know? Even though it literally fits every single facet for Pokemon I, I need. You know what? Skip it. I am going to use Ho-Oh. I know it's kind of an I win button, but I, I just need, I need, need, need a new Pokemon. I need something that's just a special defense wall that's also just a typing I don't have yet. Whoa, you're kicking it. Nothing, Ball, you've done a lot of work for the team. I wasn't feeling my best today, that's all. We should trade phone numbers. I don't want to trade phone numbers with you. I want to battle that guy again. Ugh, whatever. Next time we meet, I'll be much stronger, I promise. Yeah, okay. Do, 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 do. I'm using O. Am I a bad person for it? Probably. But I just need, I just need something. And I just need something that I, that only O can provide. Jolly. Which lowers your... Oh, you want to use this legendary Pokemon? Be a real shame if we lowered its special attack. Uh, you know what? That's fair. That's, that's, that's fair. I can't. I, I, that's fair. <laughs> Fine, you can use a legendary Pokemon, but we're nerfing him. It's fine. I need it more close over special defense. I think the only way to make it fair, though, is that I don't level it up. Off, I don't grind it. I, I think that's a fair trade-off, right? You can use it, but you can't level it up. I, you can't grind it off screen. That seems like a pretty fair trade-off, at least. Oh, what? I can't have Ho Ho falling behind me? Why not? Look, we gave him a special model. It looked really weird following behind you. Oh, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Is looking down steadily. Yo. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a minute. Yo. People would be talking. Would be mad surprised to just see this actual god following this child. 
Holy fuck, man! Stop right there. You had to be on a bicycle to go on a cycling road. Holy actual fuck. Oh my god, I was talking so much shit. I was talking so much shit. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. There's no, like, delay when going down cycling road now. Or going up cycling road. Hey, who told you you could r ride up and down this road? The, the person who stopped me back there. <laughs> oh, you want to use you want to use the legendary Pokemon, huh? Let's poke a Pokemon you're weak to at the very start. Why is it screaming? Oh! I'm so upset. I'm so mad. I can't get a single just attacker just for the sake of attacking, can I? Why would you screech at me? If I find something else though, I don't mind switching off Oho. Oh, excuse me. Crash. No. Hey, trade phone numbers with me, old buddy. I don't want to trade... I'm mad that the one person I want to trade phone numbers with doesn't want to fight me again. Oh, double battle here. Para, 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 para. Oh, he's honking his horn. My horn's got a great melee to it, don't you think? I'm toughing you up. Now, you come along with me. I'm a child, sir. I am a child? There's probably like 13 at the oldest? 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 You can't say those kind of things to me. You'll go to jail. Do you want to go to jail? Oh, here's a female Krogon. Interesting. What are the chances that you also ha you don't have black sludge? Why would you? Forex weakness to psychic that should kill you. Yep. God, I'm so upset about that. Stockpile. And thief again, since I can't really use poison attacks on you for obvious reasons. Technically, I could go to the Ingo Plateau and get one from a uh, Kogut Muck, apparently. But nah, I'm good. There's another one that's natural in the game that I'll be getting to later. Weezing! Extra sensory here, thief as well. Even with lower special attack, I think that should just kill you, since your special defense is so poor. Yeah, you are a physical wall, not a special defense one. That's what Muck here is for. And second verse, same as the first. Goodbye, Weezing. I greatly appreciate your contribution to VXP, though. Para. Alright, thanks. Oh, wait, I'm gonna talk to you. Nope. There we go. Alright, that flying yell was great. Fighting yell, sorry. I love this melodic melody. It really suits me well. Y'all motherfuckers are crazy. Anyway. What's up? Hey, wanted to have a speed battle? How's that any different than a normal battle? Do we have to, like, ride our bicycles while Pokemon battling? What is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? We have higher standards here, sir. We fight while holding still. 
or sometimes fight by posing with the Pokemon. God, that was the stupidest episode of the Sun Moon. <laughs> they captured Buzzsaw by flexing with him. Buzzsaw walked up, was clapping the cheeks of their Pokemon, and then they started flexing. And then he looked at the, the, the fire guy who was buff, or at least looked like kind of jacked compared to everyone else, was like, yo, flex with me. I was like, uh, okay. And they started flexing it, then it let itself be caught. It was like, yo, oh my god, this is the stupidest shit ever. I love it. Oh, hey, look, a Pokemon can't probably can't one shot. I'm, I'm a specially defensive fire Pokemon. I'm surprised it did that much. That's also going to do nothing. Specially defensive fire Pokemon. You are tickling me, good sir. You couldn't have started with. Uh, my lord. Whatever. Nice. <laughs> Holy shit, that's that increase. Yikes, you got some awesome torque. Thanks? Ah, careful now. Hands-free riding is considered cool on Cycling Road. That's dangerous. Don't do that, kids. Hey, that's a cool bike you're riding. Thanks. I got it for free. Well, I'm just giving out bikes in this world. It's a Viper! You look way creepier in this uh, model. You're also Jesse's probably best Pokemon she's ever had. Not viably, but just, you know, actually being a threat. But then Mimikyu. Mimikyu's pretty threatening. Swagger. Does Beware count as Team Rock's Pokemon? No, Beware just counts as their kidnapper. Ow. Are... Are you dead? I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch before I lose you. In for pursuit. Okay, I'm about to say. Yo. Why? I shard. I... If I had lost Oho like that, I don't think I could have even been mad. I would have laughed my ass off. That would have been the funniest fucking shit. Oh, I see you're trying to use legendary Pokemon. Let's take that away real quick. Great job. Thanks, man. Who did your dreads? Ah, careful now. I love the way you do battle. Consider me a fan. Th thanks? Don't think I do is all that special, but thanks? Hey, 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 you're in my way. In my way. You could move. That's supposed to be just kind of standing right there in the middle of the road. Scroopy! Are you poison dark? Or are you just poison? Or are you poison ground? I know you're poison something, but I'm not sure what the other typing is. Not that it matters, you're dead. I know your evolution's like a UU powerhouse, or was a UU powerhouse. I lost, I lost. Yeah, you did. I'm not really sure why you exclaimed it twice. Won't you give it a try? Would you like to join my team? Nope, bye. Vroom vroom, brr, brr, brr. What do you think of my engine imitation? Are you not riding a motorcycle? Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a motorcycle, man. Why you gotta try to, you do you. Sacred Fire. It missed. I think that lowers my attack. Yup. So there's no reason to use Sacred Fire. Fire Blast. Also missed. 
One more time. Fire Blast. There we go. Well, that one shot is the question. Yup. Sacred Fire has a 50% chance of burning, but its accuracy is pretty shit. It's like 75 baseline. I should be able to two tap a Meryl with a Ho, I believe. Hopefully. Yeah, I can two tap you. Ow! If I get a Laurel and I die to a Meryl with a Ho Ho. Okay, I was about to say, yo, Jesus Christ, I almost died to a barrel. Huge power plus crit plus weakness is hurts. Goddamn. You got some nerve, that's awesome. Just what I was looking for in a friend. What do you say? Literally the one person who I want their actual phone number on this bridge won't fight me again. I'm actually actively tilted. This man's desperate for friends. Route 18, new route, new Pokemon. What can I catch here? Anything cool? Route 18. The only reason I'm checking is because I don't want to waste time like just searching for literal hours. And I'm just going to bite the bullet and just check really fast, you know? Alright, I can catch nothing new here again. All right. Sort of five percent chance out of fire Pokemon. I'm good. Uphill from here. It's really challenging. Although it might be interesting to go up once pushing really hard in the puddles. No, thank you, good sir. And here we are, Fusion City, at the Poison Gym. Jane, the Poison Ninja Master, literally the child of um Koga, by the way. I'm Jane. Hocus Pocus. Poof. I look just like her now. Huh? Didn't work? I got quite a shock at the gym. There were all these girls who looked identical. Hey, you got a Pokedex. Professor will give it to you? Yes. Where else would you get one of these things? Is there still a Safari Zone in this game? This is literally farther than I've ever been in Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver. I played the shit out of the original Gen 2, but yeah, this is my first time, so... Is there still a Safari Zone? There is? The current record holder is Silver with 2,000 points. Can you top that? Oh, Silver is catching Pokemon here? I've heard trainers complain that rare Pokemon take longer to appear. Is it easier to start with common Pokemon? Oh no, I never catch Pokemon myself, but I enjoy watching catching shows a lot. If you love to see Johto and Hoenn Pokemon, the reasons have never been so mysterious. My son is a big fan of yours, I just love video games. Are you that famous? I have... I am the champion. I came to see I just love video games catching show. Oh, wow! Are you for real? Yeah, that's, that's me, man. If you want to see rare Pokemon catching at the Pal Park, are the best. Uh... Okay. Can I do this? Welcome to the Pal Park. This is where top-notch trainers who aren't satisfied with the Sarvi Zone come to show their Pokemon catching techniques to their peers. Oh, are you maybe... Oh, you are I just love video games. My dad told me about you. Wow. You're a hotshot trainer. You'd be honored to be... Sure? You're gonna participate. Let's not waste any time. Let me explain how Pal Park works. What would you like to know? Basic rules. Pal Park is a place where you can catch our time on catching up to six Pokemon. Provided with six special Pokeballs for the challenge. Presuming team challenge are required to supply the six Pokemon that are to be caught. If you do not supply the stock of six Pokemon, you may not participate in the catching. Catching show? At the start of the catching contest, you'll be given six park balls. Use the park ball to catch six Pokemon you provide. Uh, stocking Pokemon? Game Boy Advance. The game slot. Six of the currently caught. Oh, so it's how you migrate Pokemon from your... Oh, no, no, I can't do this then. No, I'm good. But yeah, this is how you migrate your Pokemon from um your Gen 3 to Gen 4 in this game. Neat. One of the Elite Four used to be elite, the leader of Future City. Yeah, Koga. I bought him. Shard de... Shard de berry? Shard de berry? Yeah, I trade berry for shard. You give me shards, I'll give you three berries, yeah. Do you, Do I have shards? I don't feel like that's a fair trade. 
Is no one gonna talk about the legendary bird literally following me around? No? All right. Give me my items. Tanga berries. Tanga berries. And that's it. All right. Have you been to the Pal Park? The Safari Zone Warden's son is running it with his wife. You must run in their family to manage parks. I would advise Safari Zone soon years, but it's not open. I thought it was closed today, but it's actually gone. I never saw it coming. Well, it's actually over in Johto, like, probably a couple hundred miles that way. Just get to walking. The Safari Zone wasn't open for a while. Then it moved to Johto before I knew it. It's sad. It was the city's main attraction. Well, now you have the Pal Park. Do do. What's with all the fucking a, a palms? My grandpa closed the safari zone. Now that we have an empty lot, my dad, my dad decided to run the pal park. He seems like catching and releasing Pokemon runs in my family. What's with all the fucking a palms? Why? <laughs> Yo, it's just fucking a palms as far as the eye can see. Happening in passing city. Literally a house full of monkeys. Koga's daughter succeeded him as the gym leader after he joined the Elite Four. My grandpa is at my brother's bills on Cerulean Cape. Hey, you saw these weird slow Pokemon on Cycling Road. Literal slug Pokemon. Slugmas, by the way. That's the Pokemon that I could have caught there. But I don't want to go out of my way to catch a Slugma. Yo, Legend of the Making. Whoops, take a good look around you. The trainers all look like Gym Leader Jane. Which one of them is the real Jane? Oh, that's cool. By the way, it's the one in the direct center that's obviously Jane. That being said, I think I'm actually going to save this for next time. So we didn't get much done this episode. Just kind of cleared some shit up. Caught Snorlax, got leftovers, forgot to get Black Sludge, and decided to finally use Ho-Ho. Eh, as it goes sometimes. Either way, when we're... Oh, we also beat Erica, I guess, but whatever. When we return, we're gonna take on Jane. Either way... Who the fuck did Coda fuck? Either way, I want everyone out there to have a good morning, evening, day, or night, whatever you're at. But for right now, I'm out. Later.